Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Wartonian TV. Another quick game of Interplanting Our Spy going on here. This one was sent in uh, by one of my subscribers on YouTube, a guy called SeaRider08. I assume it's a guy. Um, so many thanks to him for this. This potential rodent, giant rodent. Uh, here's the page on the uh, NASA website. And here's the image, the raw image. And you, you look at the ridge line here, look along the ridge line, and there's something right in the smack in the middle of it almost. Uh, now, this may or may not be a rodent. It, it looks like a rodent, doesn't mean it is. Uh, but there are a couple of other things in this image as well, which I thought were interesting and worth looking at. And uh, one or two adjacent things in nearby images as well. That's the main page. I'll have a link to this below. And here's the, the actual page. The, the main photo page it comes from, and there, this this appears in a number of shots. This thing, uh, so luckily we got black and white versions of the same spot, uh, which is often good because they're often better quality. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'll show you the raw image here. Here's the raw image. Uh, now the quality is very poor as usual. This is right back at Seoul. Uh, 509 and even back then they were obfuscating the hell out of these images uh, when you when you zoom in there's absolutely no detail at all it looks absolutely terrible it goes all choppy and, and blocky and uh, it's very hard to determine what you're looking at at all um, but there are a couple of things here that was the main thing that looks like a rodent now it could be a couple of rocks that look like, or a rock that looks like it's got ears and a torso and a nose here and a tail. Now the tail may or may not be <laughs> that <laughs> that may not be at all. Um, it may just be a rock that makes it look like that. It could be a shadow, but on closer inspection, it, it does look like a rodent. Um, but the problem is with these images, uh, the, the quality is so low uh, that we can only but speculate really. And I'm sure that's exactly why they do it because it's hard to, to say for sure most of the time. Uh, what you're looking at, unless it's really large and very close to the camera, or the camera zoomed right into it. Uh, so let's have a look at it here. I've got I've done a couple of clips of it, and I'll, I'll very quickly run through the enhancements. That's just a, a raw clip, uh, and you can see what looks like a nose here. There's a light spot there, and two ears, and the torso here, and a possible tail there. Not really sure about that. That's probably just a couple of rocks, but it may have a tail going on uh, behind this rock. That we can't see, and there does seem to be a sort of eye there. Although you've got some image distortion uh, here, I've cleaned it up a bit there, and you can sort of see an eye, and you can sort of see a nose, and a you know uh, <laughs> who's to say for sure. It does kind of look like one. Uh, here's the enhanced image again, but there's there's a, a real limit to what you can do with these images, and that's about as far as you can really push something that far away. Now. Is it a mouse? Is it a rat? Is it some kind of other rodent? Uh, it could be something similar to that prairie dog that was spotted by Monty Williams uh, two or three years ago. Could be. It's, this is large. This is, uh, for it to show up at that distance, it would have to be in the realms of a couple of foot long, uh, at least. Possibly a bit longer, because uh, this is quite a long way off from the rover, although this is deceptive. So I would imagine that's quite large. I'll put clips of all this in at the end. There's also this thing, uh, I'll show you in the raw image. Now, when you look at the raw image here, there's what looks like a skull here. Now, I appreciate that the, the, the image is all broken up, but you can see like an eye socket here and some teeth there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, could be wrong on this one, not very clear. I'll show you the clips, which I've got here. Here's the raw clip. And the, the image is so, terrible. I do wonder whether some of the details we're getting here is, is actually caused by this image um, compression. But it does seem to be an eye socket there. You can just about make it out and a cheap bone here. So I enhanced it and that's what I got. <laughs> now that may be wishful thinking on my part, I don't know. But that's what I got. I, I just blurred it and then darkened where the eye socket, what it looks like an eye socket was and darkened some of this detail here and that's what came out. Take it or leave it. I, I mean this is really too obfuscated to actually tell with this one. So I'm not going to bet any serious currency on that one. But this was interesting. Now, 
this thing here, I have no, absolutely no idea what it is, but it, you've got a very strange object here with what looks like a bone sticking out here and this kind of weird thing sticking out here on the, on the left here looks like it's coming out from underneath this thing over here which looks like a hollowed out rock or, 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 uh, or something. It's almost like a sack, like a bag with things coming out of it. I'll show you the enhancement. I've really brightened that up, and that face is it is actually in the image. If you look at this here, it may not be a face, but it, it's probably just our make, our matrixing going on there, and our, our pareidolia doing that. But there's like two eyes and a nose, and a mouth here with some little teeth. Now that's probably largely due to the the way the image has been damaged, and uh, but I, I enhanced it anyway just to show what it looks like, and it is there. But what was more, I mean, this is probably just a coincidence. I, I don't think that's anything of, of note. It may be a carving, but it's too blurry and, and crap to determine. But this here, I thought, was very interesting. There's definitely some sort of symmetrical structure here. And an, like an arm coming out with a kind of hook, hook-like structure to it here. And this goes into this kind of rock here. Now, so this this whole thing here looks like a, almost like a bag or a sack, like a leather bag or something that's just been left there. And uh, these things were in it and uh, sticking out of it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So yes, what can I say about that? That is extremely strange. I've never seen anything quite like it. Don't know what it is. Any any ideas out there, please leave a comment. I really don't know what to say about that, really. Uh, there was also this thing, which is in, in an a, a adjacent image nearby here's the raw image and there was this thing just sat there sticking up which i thought was very odd because if that was a uh, uh a, just a normal rock then surely it would have toppled over because it seems i don't know i mean it's just really weird it looked a bit like an owl or animal to me with a with a wing here could this be a carving possibly could this actually be a creature? No, probably not. It's probably just a rock, but it seems to have, on top of it here, it seems to have like feathery parts or hair sticking off the top. Now, what this may be another case of is a rock with organic growth on it, which makes it look like a face here with a nose and a mouth here, see? And an eye here. And a head. And the back. Uh, and an arm. I mean, that's just me uh, seeing people everywhere, but some. Um, what are these details on top? These are things sticking up off of it. Uh, I, I actually think this is organic growth. Um, it's very green when you when you up the contrast, like I've done here. It goes very green, like a lot of these things do. And there are things sticking up off the top, like like leaves or something. This could be lichen. It could be uh, fungi. It could be some sort of moss. Uh, and I have found it on lots of other rocks. So, and I do think that a lot of these rocks do get quite wet when it heats up in the uh, morning and uh, of course moisture would condense on the rocks at night when it gets cold and freeze and of course lichen and moss would feed off this moisture as it melts the next day so that seems fairly logical to me there's a there's a real brightened up enhancement of it there um, very strange very strange indeed don't know what it is answers on the postcard as usual for that one so thanks for watching everybody uh, I'll just show you that mouse again. Uh, oh, potential large rodent. There we go. Is it a mouse? It's probably a, a rock or two that are together making a funny shape, but you never know with these things. Other people have spotted them. Uh, don't write anything off. This is a, an alien planet, and these creatures may well not even need oxygen to breathe. They may well breathe carbon dioxide or, or have some completely different respiratory system to us. They may have gills or something. So, thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you soon.